One of the key challenges facing the oil and gas industry is calculating which fuels will be important in the future energy mix, as well as the many challenges and opportunities these energy sources will create. Willem Marx went to a WPC workshop in Belgrade to get some perspectives from the petroleum industry. We're in the Serbian capital of Belgrade for a workshop meeting of the World Petroleum Council. Experts here will be focusing their discussions on the future role of petroleum in the world's energy mix. WPC members include public and private companies, as well as governments. But all of them recognize the multiple challenges that must be met to build a sustainable future by focusing on issues including population, price, supply and demand. What we see over the past couple of years, the name of the game is speed. Speed of the changes happening in three months, three years, not beyond that. Energy needs and use in different regions will transform as the world's population grows, especially in countries like China and India. I expect that there will be big changes, huge changes, but there is one criteria which remains, I think, stable, that the world will be supplied by energy on the basis of an energy mix. Over the next century, energy poverty will end for two billion people in the developing world. China and India have burned a lot of coal in recent years, but oil and gas could potentially offer cleaner and more sustainable solutions to meet rising demand there. Of course, there, there will be new energy sources helping out filling that gap. That includes solar, wind, nuclear as well, but, uh, and hydro but oil and gas are there to, uh, also for the long term. There's no doubt that energy supply sources are shifting. The expectation is that the share for renewables, besides nuclear, will be increased a, a little bit. But still, the fossil fuels will keep its big portion uh, in the next few decades to come. But the correlations between world events and energy prices are also shrinking. In the past half century, the oil shock Gulf War and 9-11 all prompted oil prices to spike. But in recent years, global developments like ongoing violence in the Middle East have not caused the various price fluctuations. It's not happening now. Look at the conflicts and crisis we are going through. And the oil prices are largely unaffected. Why? Because we are in a new era in which resource abundance is the name of the game again. There is no resource scarcity. That's because in the past five years, with the impact of shale gas developments, countries like the US have stopped importing so much oil and in some cases are now net energy exporters. Most of the growth in the global oil consumption will come from Asian countries and uh, the Middle East. And on the contrary, in the West, in uh, Europe and US, we will see a decline in the oil use. 